I don't like to be a star architect. That, I, I think, is a big mistake. And unfortunately, sometimes they call me that way, or, or they put me in that group, and I don't like it. I don't like it because architecture is not, is not a world for stars. Now, what I enjoy very much is to show Mexico and show architecture, both things, to the world in a positive way. It's not by building. Uh, I have never seen a mayor working so hard for an idea. And I, I have to tell you, you cannot have a good building if you don't have a good client. And I think he was an excellent client. Not that he got involved in the plans and all. He was on the high level supporting the idea of doing a library that could uh, really be shown to all the world. And that, that is not only my merit, no, it's, it's a teamwork. And he played a very, very important role on, on this. So it's a very important one. And, and you need good clients for that. And for good clients, I'm not talking about people who are ready to spend millions and millions of dollars. Basically, I try to find the philosophy of the project. That's to me the most important thing. What do you want to do out of that? Uh, of course, you want to do a good building, you want to do that, but really what is behind it? In the uh, uh, library in San Antonio, I wanted to create this, a center of the community. So that, that's the first thing I, I established. Then I start to draw, and I draw, I try to draw that philosophy. As a matter of fact, some of the sketches, or most of the sketches I start with, are at the scale, but I don't care about the program at that moment. I more or less have it in the back of my mind, but I know I, I'm, I have to do a cathedral, but, but I, I don't care at that moment what, about the capacity and uh, the function of it, etc. We live with color. And I see in other countries that it's too intellectual. They say, now let's do a color scheme. We never do a color scheme. <coughs> never. Uh, let's say sometimes we, uh, we painted at the beginning, we say this has to be blue or it has to. Be. And some of the time we do it half of the way of the design, some of the time during construction. And uh, well, I will share with you the experience of the library. So we did the library red. Why? I don't know why. I don't have any answer for it. And then the uh, San Antonio News uh, run a, a contest and trying to give a name to that red. And they receive about 3,000 proposals for the color of the red. Revolution red. And they send me the list. And I got together with my son, Victor, and we started to look at the, at the list. And we found seven that were repeated. And uh, we say, well, let's, let's tell them that this is the right one. And then become the name, which is Enchilada Red. Anybody that tells you that he doesn't want to be recognized is a, is a liar. We all are very happy of receiving an applause. But the important thing is not to make, convert it into the objective. It's a recognition. It's very good. It's very positive to keep working. But it's not the objective of your life. When it's the objective of your life, you are in trouble. So I find that it has nothing to do the size of, uh, of a project. Maybe that's what comes from the detail. It doesn't have to do to be a masterpiece. And uh, I always tell that to the students. Mm -hmm. Because the students, because of the way they are teach, and that's the correct way to teach them, they get involved at school in, in very large projects. And then they go into practice, and they have no work, and they complain. 
And I always tell them, look, if you're going to make the new bedroom for Uncle Sam or Uncle Tom, that bedroom can be a masterpiece. And you better do it because the next job you're going to get is from what you did there. And little by little is, is the way you go. So details to me are, are very important.